Next, we'll cover Zero Touch Mesh, which is a newer Smart Mesh feature. As of this recording, this is available for Smart Zone OS 5, Ruckus Zone Director 10.2 and above, and the Ruckus Unleashed solution. It is scheduled to be incorporated into Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi in the near future. In this example, we'll look at how Zero Touch Mesh works with Unleashed. Before using Zero Touch Mesh, it was configured by Unleashed in the following way. First, Mesh was enabled on the Unleashed user interface by checking the box Enable Mesh. Then the AP that will become the Mesh AP is powered on and then connected to the LAN or Master Root AP using an Ethernet cable. After about 2-3 to three minutes, the Mesh key is delivered to the Mesh AP over the Ethernet and the AP is rebooted with the proper configuration. The last step was to remove the Mesh AP Ethernet LAN cable and place it some distance away and then power up the AP. And after a few minutes, the Mesh link is formed and the AP will then be configured as a Mesh AP. If you have more than one AP and you want to set each up for Mesh, you would have to repeat steps 3, 4, and 5. This would also be a similar type of procedure if you were using the Smart Zone Network Solution Zone Director or the Ruckus Cloud Wi-Fi Solution. With Zero Touch Mesh, setting up Mesh is very simple, literally Zero Touch. Step 1 is to enable Mesh on the user interface by checking the Enable Mesh and Zero Touch Mesh box. Step 2 is to power up the Mesh AP. Next, you would scan or enter the serial number of the AP and approve it. It will send the encrypted Mesh key over the air to the Mesh AP. After about 5 minutes, the Mesh AP will be operational. This saves valuable time when installing numerous Mesh APs. In SmartZone OS 5, Zero Touch Mesh can be enabled over the 5 GHz band at the domain level and at the zone levels by turning on Zero Touch Mesh on the user interface. It will enable all subgroups and the subdomain and zones. With Zero Touch Mesh, the user can simply put the AP at the desired location and power it on. Then the AP automatically discovers the network joins the controller, and forms the mesh network. In short, any new AP can join the network via wireless without a wired connection. It is used to simplify the mesh deployment, implement long-distance wireless connections between networks, expand network coverage area, and reduce network development cost. Here we see how to configure Zero Touch Mesh at the zone level using the Smart Zone OS 5 user interface.